the leader deciding their wisdom to make me the chair of community planning and partnership and that completely takes in and a big part of that brief is thriving places and actually that's why I'm here today. This is about setting the framework and making sure that everybody's on the same page but for us to get a lot of feedback from local people so that that helps the organisations and organisations like myself to be able to respond better. Thriving Places is all about the community taking control of their area and not council workers. But it doesn't always happen like that. Um, like today, there's no workers here than what there is community people. And that's not what Thriving Places are supposed to be about. Well, I think even the last few years, it's just in the early days still, really. But there's some amazing work that's been done, and a lot of that's been driven by the community, but staff supporting that, or organisations and partners supporting that work. I don't think there's anything we can do, because unless this place was for and fully, the community as equal partners, we could probably work together. So I would quite like to see where people take a risk, that we do really quite different things, that people look at for solutions that just fit where they live and that maybe we change a lot of our services as a result of that. It's about tapping into all the resources, everybody has different ideas uh, and that's also about the partnership working that we can bring together, uh, that co-productive part of thriving places. Um, you've got people in that room who can make a real difference uh, I suppose it's about making the connections uh, and see where the connections can take us in the community. I'm only a political lead and I'd like to say I'm a political enabler. I want to see the real leaders that are there today. They have to tell me what's complex and what they require to be supported from me. And it's really going to be an exciting day. actually to see so many people here. When we talked about having an event, I was like, oh, we'll maybe get 30, 40 people along. <laughs> so when I was told, actually, we're fully booked and people want to be here, I was quite heartened by that. Because I thought, do you know, people do actually want to talk about it and we do want this to work. Why not be making it work just now, but we do want it to work. Yeah, so far it's been really good. I've met some people I hadn't met before, some really interesting conversations, both about positives and some of the challenges of of thriving places but yeah I think so far the, the discussions have all been really interesting. I think I would hope that within Govern that we can come together with a group and for example come up with a, our own thriving places charter so that or or some other form of words but something that helps um, crystallise what this means for everyone and to gain everybody's commitment because I think it's going to involve a lot of goodwill and a shared ethos, shared resources um, and hopefully celebrating shared success, but I know it's going to take some time. The thriving places are all at different stages across the city, so I think there needs to be uh, perhaps an exercise to do the kind of thing we're doing today more often, where the different thriving places come together to talk about their experiences. I think just the talking that people are doing and sharing, and also for me there's a bit of hearing from people, what are some of the things that we need to try and work on and sort. Because there are, there's some things that we could do at a city level that would help. Well, I just want to see how people do it in other areas. Uh, are they doing different from us or are we doing different from them? So it's a whole thing of taking it back um, and how to encourage other community people to stand up and say, no, we want to be involved in it as well. Uh, how can we make improvements to the community? How can we get the community to access these services so that we can, as I say, improve not only the look of the community, the fabric, but the access but it's also about young people accessing these services so they feel part of that community growing up and continue with that good work that's already out there. I'm sure from today's event we'll get ideas about what's happening, who's involved. There'll be plenty of round table discussion and I think a lot of the feedback we get from a lot of events is people like more discussion. So, um, and you do learn an awful lot about what each other's doing. Once everybody's said that bit and whatever else, um, I'm just hoping that we'll be able to get back together, the community and all the the working people that was there, um, to start again because that's what it's going to need to do. We've got to get a, 
people responsible. I'm talking about councillors and people with the power to make change. To come to meetings and listen to the concerns of people that live in, the, live in their areas. Next steps, we'll write up, we'll come up with defined outcomes, we'll come back to you on the outcomes from today and let's move on. I know what the journey is about now, thank you for being part of that journey.